Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which depending on your location, please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption, like and share videos. Today is Tuesday, the 23rd day of April 2024. I bring you news update. We did not issue any statement regarding Yaya Bello. It's not our business. That's according to Ohaneze Ndebo. Yes. Now, the Ohaneze Ndebo has refuted reports that they issued a joint statement with a Yoruba group. Yes. Asking the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, that's the FCC, to trade softly by way of respecting the subsequent court order restraining the commission from arresting the former Kogi state governor. Yes, that's the immediate past governor of Kogi state. Talking about Yaya Bello, over alleged 80.2 billion money laundering. Yes. Now, the FCC says this man laundered about 80 billion naira while in office as the governor of Kogi state. Yes, of course, uh, the news has been making the rounds that the FCC has declared him wanted. Yes, they failed to arrest him in the initial time. Yes, they wanted to arrest him as they claimed. But the governor of Kogi State, the sitting governor of Kogi State, yes, the Yahya Bello's boy, stopped them. Yes, he invaded the Abuja office of the FCC, I mean Abuja residence of uh, Yaya Bello, where the FCC said they wanted to arrest him. So he invaded the place with security agents and uh, stopped the FCC from arresting his boss, Yaya Bello. That is what happened. So, the FCC was able to arrest him then, and the current governor left with Yaya Bello. Upon this moment, nobody knows the whereabouts of the former governor, Yaya Bello. Now, the National Public Secretary of Honors and Debo, Chair Doze Alex Obonia, said the name of the person. Chimobi Jofo, who said on behalf of Honors and Debo Youth, is alien to the organization and a new entrant amongst the fosters, charlatans, impersonators, and mischief makers who ride on the invaluable footprints of Honors and Debo to the for the unsuspecting public. That's what the, the scribe, the chief scribe of Honors and Debo said. Talking about um, Chedoze Alex Obanaya. Yes. He said, Ohanese Ndibo Youth Council is unknown to the organs and structures of Ohanese Ndibo worldwide. He said, it's a mischievous contrivance for illicit and immediate stomach infrastructure. So, that is it. Talking about the Ohanese Ndibo supporting Yaya Bello. He said, no. They are not supporting Yaya Bello. They cannot support a looter, a thief. Onyoshin. Yes. Say they will never support and they will never support EFCC too. Say they're not speaking for EFCC and they're not speaking for Yaya Bello. They're not in any way talking about the case of uh, Yaya Bello and the EFCC. He said, but the most worrisome is the unscrupulous, duplicious, and compromised media contractors who collaborate. With the transgressors and mercenaries to tarnish the hallowed image of the globally acknowledged umbrella organization that represents the Igbo collective consciousness. Well, Ahanese, they are trying to defend themselves. Alright, we have seen it. That the Ahanese, they are defending themselves. In this matter, they said they have no hand in it. To so, Ahanese, they are prodding themselves. They said they are globally acknowledged umbrella organization. That represents the Igbo collective consciousness. Well, honest, uh, you are yet to prove this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of thing. You are ascribing to yourself this kind of achievement or feat. You are ascribing to yourself. Yes. So it's because of the way you are doing that people are trying to use your name 
because in normal circumstances you do double into these issues issues that don't concern you whereas the one that concerns you in the south east in neighbor land in biafra land you will not say it you will not defend your people so that is why people are using your name to make this kind of statements yes otherwise what concerns onesia with you know yaya bello a looter yes the man is just like Idi Amin. Yes, he ruled Kogi State like Idi Amin during his time in Uganda, sincerely speaking. So, this man is a tyrant. He looted the resources of the Kogi people. Yes, he ruled the state with iron fist. That is it. They thought that he would stay there permanently. As the as the governor, or he was, you know, believing that he become president of Nigeria. Yes, from governor to president. Yes, he was over, over, overpricing himself. That is it. So when he started to campaign for president, we begin to ask ourselves whether this man thinks that people are fully are, are, are just whether he has people in his pocket. Yes. That is over over you know that he, he actually overextends his luck. Yes. Because he was made governor overnight. He thinks that oh I will become president just down somewhere. So he was campaigning vigorously. We want to wonder. This man, whether he wants to rule his family so that is it. Anyway, anything happens in the construction, of course, you know. So that one is there. So Hanese said, look, they are not interested in the Ayabello. A looter, a tyrant, yes. So the government of Nigeria, they are doing, you know, to show that they are in a banana. In a banana. That's why the man contested to become president in a Senate climb. Bello knows that he will not win one single vote. So he won't contest. But they are in a banana. Otherwise, a sitting governor, what will prompt a sitting governor to go and uh, stop the work of, you know, an uh, established federal government agency if Nigeria is not a banana? And up until this moment, the EFC said they have declared him wanted. Wanted. And you know the governor that, you know, that uh, supposed to know his whereabouts. The governor of Kogi State is supposed to know the whereabouts of Yahebelo. So the FCC should have told him to produce the governor. Of course, simple. Write to him, Mr. Governor, produce the immediate past governor of your state. He's in your custody. He's supposed to know his whereabouts. But they said they, had, they have declared him wanted.